Hello and welcome to the Dub Talks number 14 already. Oh my. So, um, today when you see this video, I'm not there where I am usually are, so to speak. I am today at the Hahnweide, at least the day that this video gets released. And uh, it's a three day trip over the weekend with a good friend of mine. And I actually meet some people that I just known over the internet or via the internet and I will see them for the first time you know people like Exe and Delta and some other people that you probably have never heard of or some that you heard of I don't know in the background you can see my approach towards the ground targets here on the alternative history Berlin map and I'm flying the Russian land lease B25 a vehicle that I purchased a long ago, a long time ago, sorry about that, and which, you know, provided me with a lot of fun. I like the American versions in the tech tree, and this is no different. It's the J30 variant, and the other variants in the American tech tree are basically the very same. Bomb loads, defensive and offensive armament, flight model, damage model, everything's the same. Is it worth it? Well, that depends on you. But uh, I think the B-25s in general have one of the best engine sounds ever. Not just from the outside, but particularly from the inside. Sadly, there is a little bug going on when you are in the arf artificial horizon. Um, because the sound switches from left to right and it is like a massive crackling. That means that crackling is not from my end, but it is within War Thunder. Nothing I can do about it, I fear. So... Um, the next thing is um, something new happened within this week. First of all, the R2Y2, that was the first, you know, very four-pictured kill compilation. And uh, the feedback was great. I might do it uh, again, but, you know, I can't put uh, as much effort uh, on a daily schedule. I don't have a schedule, really. I upload whatever I think is good footage and what I really can put a lot of my heart blood in. And uh, yeah, so the R2Y2 video, it was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of work. And uh, I was really happy that you guys like it a lot. The next thing is the new series that came out of nowhere, basically. And when I was uploading the video, I was not even sure if I should make a, uh, it a video. Now, what I'm talking about is the realistic expectations video. And I made to this day three of them. The first one was on the M163 Vulcan, the second one was on the Ki-87 and the third one was on the FV438 Swingfire, the first, uh, you know, proper British ATGM. So, and from the response I got from you guys, you really like this kind of video, so I will keep it going as long as death blocks are coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, they are made pretty easily and um, the informations you get are uh, you know they are not about hyping it's quite the opposite you know the name is program uh, realistic expectations a lot of the planes and tanks we will see uh, coming up for not just the next update but for also in the far future i guess uh, feature a lot of stuff that we already see in game even the 20 millimeter gatling gun on the m 163 Vulcan is you know in a frame that I can picture you you know the the shell density will be probably a faster Wibblewind um, the belts will be you know unexchangeable I guess like on the um, Kugelblitz or the Falcon therefore and so on the same is for the Ki 87 it's nothing else than a Ki 84 high I guess and, you know, the ATGM that I featured today, you know, the Swingfire, well, looks like, uh, you know, a British version of the um, Raketenjagdpanzer 2. So, you know, those are the expectations. Not that you guys think, oh, it's something new and exciting and I have to go for it and I will spend my whole life just grinding for it when you have already something similar in your hangar or uh, you are in punching distance for it and so on but if you are really you know hyped for it i want i don't want to take it away it's not like i'm saying ah it's nothing special it's 
a new vehicle it will have its pros and cons but you know it won't be something magic and that's what i want to tell you guys other youtubers might think differently but i'm not them i am who i am and i say what i think you can agree or you can even disagree and i don't mind if you write this stuff in the comments you know as long as you stay civilized and don't get on the bandwagon or hype train or you know the uh, the insult whatever you know stay civilized and we are all right you know then there was again this new logo and new watermark that you can see in the bottom right corner um it was from cosa as i mentioned in one video already and i think it looks really cool doesn't it and uh yeah so yeah oh there's one thing that i forgot to mention um please don't forget to follow me on twitter uh, again link in the video description as i might twitter a few pictures uh, from airplanes from the Hahnweide and uh, you can see them then first. So that's that. Um, the next thing would be about my channel itself and a recent problem that I you know, just noticed. It's not really a problem but um, I have to ask you guys about it. Now at the moment I'm sitting on 380 subscribers and for around about four months of work and you know putting up nearly daily content I think that's not bad to be honest but it can be more so don't forget to tell your uh, friends and you know clan members about my channel if you think that I've helped you out with stuff like tank reviews or uh, my guide series uh, it really would help me out you know but getting subscribers is a fine thing it's a number that hopefully steadily grows and you know it's a you know a mark that you have to get over for example as i've told you in a dub talks a while ago uh, my goal is to reach at least 1500 subscribers now why is that 1500 subscribers that's quite a bit yes but that's the milestone from where on i can ask Gaijin for the partnership program which allows me to not just get golden eagles but also maybe get my hands on test drives for vehicles that i don't own and which i personally don't need especially premium vehicles now i think everything that there is to be researched i can research um, but some vehicles are just uh, out of my range and also my financial possibilities i'm not willing to spend i don't know over 100 euros to get my hands on the t28 the m26 e1 and the m46 tiger uh, if i never use them uh, the t29 might be something that i would be interested to um, you know review um, actively and the other ones i would do if uh, you know i get test drives from gaichen and uh, this is practically the thing that um, i provide you with my opinion as those vehicles are quite expensive and um, you know i've done it myself to purchase a vehicle that i thought would be good then i've driven it or flown it and i was quite a bit disappointed about the performance of it and so you know a review on those tanks from different persons is actually pretty important so you can see different playstyles how it performs in arcade how it performs in realistic uh, where you know there are big differences um, not just between realistic and arcade for a single vehicle but also for you know the the matter of the game changes a vehicle can be very good in arcade and can be not so good in realistic and the other way around and there were a lot of surprises uh, for me you know um, for example the t54 51 i was so surprised how bad it is in realistic mobility wise i'm still convinced that the gun stock is pretty good and it proved to be really good and uh, yeah so those are the things that i want to give away and for my you know next project with the subscribers you know currently i have 380 subscribers you know the moment i make this video uh, which is really nice for four months of uh, daily uploads i don't really have a schedule i just as i mentioned i upload that what i think is uh, worth watching and what i think is um, topic you guys might be interested in but to find possibilities to get advertised 
that is very difficult for small YouTubers. Um, you know, I thought, yeah, you make uh, this uh, kind of uh, thing and that kind of thing, and then people will come to your channel. Yeah, but if they don't know that I'm there, you know, what's the point? They never will know me. They might like my content. They might think that it is really good. I mean, ask yourself, um, how long have you known about me before you subscribed, you know? or s something like that and what did you come here and um, did it become better or worse over the last few I don't know weeks you know I think that I improved with my quality um, I changed from 30 FPS to 60 FPS I am much quicker in you know actual things like my realistic expectations and so on so please tell your fr friends and clan members that um, I'm there and that I make videos of which you th think uh, they are good at least I think you think that they are good if you are subscribed to me and before I forget a huge thank you to all my subscribers who were with me since the last four months and also provided me with constructive criticism and proposals yeah, so that's it for today. I think it's at this point that I can say thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Um, give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, as I just mentioned. And see you in the skies.